Hey everybody, got a review here doing the Baby Penguin and uh, the uh, the makers of this fountain pen is I How and I would butcher it so I let Mr. Announcer butcher it uh, everything is done in Chinese so I cannot read Chinese but uh, it's a cool little uh, display pen case nothing fancy but it has the Baby Penguins on the front, on the back, and the color of the pen matches the color of the pen case. So, not a lot going on with it, but uh, if you ever tried these brands of pens before, they seem to be a pretty decent fountain pen. And they're, I don't know, around between five and six, seven dollars maybe. Don't hold me on that, so let's get this little jewel out. And let's see what's in here. And be prepared to deal with some strong plastic here. All right, finally, everything else fails. We use the machate. Like a la, like a la. Just like that. And that'll take pretty much care of it right right so let's get this out of here and set all this stuff aside here we go and it comes with not one two but four cartridges and so the it is a Chinese made pen okay so there is no name on the ink or on the box at least nothing that I can translate so this I just call this as Chinese blue ink and that's the best I can do for it so you got four cartridges and here is the plastic cap with again the name on it on the clip it's a plastic clip nice little clip but uh, be careful because it can break it's kind of flimsy and here is the pen beautiful color of, of a, a light pale blue and then you got the penguins coming down here one two three three penguins coming on the very bottom of the barrel and at the end of the barrel it does post very well so without posting the cap it fits fine in my hand I have small hands but when I post it I like it even better it looks good a very good looking fountain pen like the color like the shape I like the feel of the grip when you go down the barrel uh, to the grip uh, there's a slight step off but only when you go with your fingers upward the barrel will you feel a bit of sharpness but nothing that's going to be uh, uncomfortable or you would uh, cut your fingers as you see me applying a lot of pressure uh, no cuts on the finger you can feel it but still that's not going to get in the way I, I, I believe that this grip is going to be big enough for even big old saucy fingers so uh, here's my little bitty fingers maybe you have big big chunky fingers yep it's not going to affect it any and the nib what does the nib have to say not too much going on with the nib pretty straightforward uh, it does look like some other nibs I've seen before on some pilots uh, and here is the blue plastic feed uh, kind of cool looking feed it's blue dark blue and I'm trying to see if anything's on the feed and it's not well before I get into inside the pen, I'm going to see how much this pen weighs. And the pen weighs 10.1 G, so that's the weight. It's a light pen, but it does feel good. So, you know, let's see how the length of the pen with this cap is. All right. And it's about 134.3 millimeters. 
just like you see it there, capped, and let's do it, post it. All right, post it from the top to the tip, about 154.4 millimeters. And the cap, it's going to be about 56.2 millimeters. And last but not least, the barrel, from the tip of the barrel to the tip of the nib, it's going to be 123.5. 123.5 from the tip of the barrel to the tip of the nib. And last but not least, let's see the widest point of the pin. Five. Looks like it's going to be 11.5. 11.5. And last but not least, the widest part of the grip. Looks like ten point one is the widest point. So, not a bad little pin. Let's go ahead and screw the barrel and let's see what's inside. And we get, voila, nothing. Uh, I know what you're going to ask, can this be an eyedropper? Well, you know, I think it cannot be an eyedropper, no. Because you do have some holes at the very bottom of the barrel. So, eyedropper, nope, can't do that. So, I haven't tried out if it will hold any kind of a converter. Get one of these converters out. And... We'll go ahead and punch it. Hear that nice snap? And before I do anything, what I like to do, first of all, I like to uh, log my inks in, as you can see me doing live. So I'm going to take that out for a bit, and I'm going to just Squeeze some in here. Messy, messy, messy. Not a bad looking blue, is it? Rather vibrant looking. Yep. I like it, believe it or not. Not a bad looking blue. And if you don't mind, let me clean up my mess. Voila! Alright, and we still have a good amount of ink, ink left. Let's get this started. Get that down there real good. Let me kind of help prime that feed. Maybe. Let's see now. All right, I think it's going to go here. And you see firsthand how I get my cartridges going in my pen. So. So I think what I'll do Let's go ahead and do the name and stuff. And this is uh, writing like a fine nib. And 
and today is Happy Halloween, October 31st. Today is the Trick or Treaters Day. And I hope everybody's got their candy ready. And there you have it. Let me soak some of this other blue off here. Made a mess. And this is how I keep my ink log, as you can see. And I'm using my Life Notebook Journal for all my inks. Give you a quick rundown. What they look like. So let's get to the writing. This is what we're waiting for. Well, it appears that it's going to write pretty darn good. You know, you can uh, you can pick up some really good, decent fountain pens at an affordable price, under ten bucks, under five bucks a lot of times too. All right. And there is no problems with the ink flow issues. It keeps up with the feed. All looks good. Do a bit of swirls going on here. Looks good. Now let's check for wetness. This is a fine nip, so it does lay down the ink. And it's not wet, you know. But it is what it is. It's a fine nip, but it writes well. Let's see about some line variation. This is no pressure, and that's with pressure. Really not getting no, no line variation at all. Upside down. And you do get uh, some good upside down writing. And it would be, uh, you know, to, to me this looks more of a fine right here. And up here would be more to me of a fine medium maybe. Nice pen. Nice color. And feels great in the hand. And that's all there is to it. The Baby Penguin Fountain Pen. A beautiful pale blue with the baby uh, penguins on the bottom of the barrel. It does post well. It does have a clip what I like on top of the finial. Uh, it's a uh, clear on top uh, and at the very bottom of the barrel. They do have a hole in the bottom, as you can see. Maybe not. So, no, you cannot make it into an eyedropper. And I do not know yet if I can uh, get a converter to fit or not. But when I do, I'll do a updated review to fill you in on that. And that's going to do it for this video. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pen. I hope you enjoy the baby penguin fountain pen. I appreciate it. Peace. And there's what it looks like again. Leave your comments below. And don't text and drive. Later, folks.